He's gonna press the button. Ain't nobody loves me better. Makes me I happy. Think this is us, as. Makes me feel this way. <laughs> I'm hoping, I'm hoping we're live. This is a very chilled stream. Leo is joining us and we're taking a little bit of Leo into our lives. We're, we're embracing <laughs> the relax. We're embracing the get in, get intimate, get close to us. Because today we're going to look at heat. <laughs> now, Leo and Ben are both here to join us. Now, they're over in the Beast Wars studios because the Joan of Arc Pledge Manager Absolutely, is yes. coming soon. Yes. Um, yes. What we, date is it coming? Uh, the 22nd, Monday. Yes. Yeah. Monday, mm -hmm. the 22nd. Monday. And uh, we're going to shoot videos with you guys. Yes. Yes. Good Can we tell a little bit about what you brought? Yes. <laughs> oh, well, we brought, uh, we brought the, the, well, the gigantic miniatures. Yeah. Well, Bigature or uh, the <laughs> big, big like uh, bigature really yeah, well, that's an amazing <laughs> term okay uh, we we brought them like the dragon uh, the leviathan uh, the uh, the the devil yeah and um, the beast the beast then we brought the castle yeah. and when we brought plenty of things and so we'll we'll be doing many many videos on that awesome. so check it out so just to make sure in case anyone at home was wondering mythic games don't have anything to do with hate it is CM simon and guillotine games but because leo yes. is here we wanted to do a bit of a different feeling a bit of a live showing we have a prototype of hate that leo's been very kind to bring with them yeah. uh, along to us and we're yes. going to do well you guys have had a little look but i've not seen any of this yet so we're basically going to look through the box it's going to go live at 8 p.m. We're watching chat. So, hey, yes. Rodrigo, uh, a tropical break. It's not on Kickstarter for another 45 minutes. <laughs> so feel free to get your questions in. Uh, ben and Leo are going to chat. Are you sure we're live? Yeah, we absolutely are. Yeah, we have Facebook. I can't see we you have on Facebook. YouTube. Give it a little refresh. Is anybody watching on the Beast of War Facebook? It'd be great to know. Um, Rodrigo Monique says, say hello to Leo, please. Hello, Leo. Hello, Rodrigo. Yeah, right, right into the camera. There, <laughs> oh, right. yeah. Say hello to Rodrigo. Right there. Hello, Rodrigo. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, I can see now. I will. I can share it on yeah. my. On so if you're right? also if you're a personal friend of Leo, you're now going to get the chance to watch the stream <laughs> on Leo's personal Facebook, Facebook mm -hmm. if you'd like. Uh, if you have to slum it like the rest of us, it's Beast of War YouTube or <laughs> Facebook or Periscope if it takes your fancy. Um, <laughs> okay. Well, sorry. You know, I'm just. You said it was. All good. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So we're going to go through, we're going to chat a bit about hate, we're going to show off some of the, okay. the minis, some of the dice, and the most important thing that really hasn't been seen yet, we're going to chat a bit about the rules, a bit about how the Chronicles and campaign system works. If you guys want to ask any questions, please feel free to pop them in, <coughs> but what we'll probably do is answer more once we've gone through the game a little sure. bit. Okay. Yeah. Mm. I love this, one of my favourite things is seeing comments like Chris uh, DeMint said, so excited for hate. Mm. It, just, <laughs> it just sounds so wrong. So, yeah, I think what we, we should do mm -hmm. is, why are we here, maybe, right? Why are we here, Leo? Thank you for, for asking this great question. <laughs> uh, well, because uh, I think, well, because I'm interested in mm -hmm. this game, I think it's great. And because I have a personal uh, friendship yeah. with uh, some of the people mm -hmm. who did this. Yeah. Uh, well. It's based on Adrian Smith, mm -hmm. first of all. Adrian Smith is a, an incredible artist that I really admired. Uh, I had the opportunity to work with him on Conan, you know? Oh, did you realize? Yes, I, I didn't yes. realize that. Because he had me one over yes. with Rising Sun, mm -hmm. with Blood yes. Rage. Adrian Smith, before even looking at the comic, yes. and he, he had me one over. Yeah, he's, he's an amazing artist that I've always admired. And I had the opportunity to have dinner with him uh, in mm -hmm. Paris while we were working on, on Conan. Uh, so. Yes, and uh, I, I really love uh, his uh, Chronicle of Hate mm -hmm. uh, graphic novel. Mm -hmm. uh, I've read it. I will tell you about it a little bit. So, first of all, it's uh, it's it's Adrian Smith. Also, uh, when we were at Gen Con last year, mm -hmm. uh, it was the first time that they were displaying the the minis, and mm -hmm. I saw them, and I said, "Oh my God, it's these are gorgeous <laughs> minis, and people will <laughs> will be able to see that." So yeah. I was yeah, so I, I was very very impressed with the quality of the miniatures yeah. and and I wanted to to know and see how this will mm -hmm. would be done yeah there's another thing uh, one of the de the designers are uh, the guys from gu guillotine mm -hmm. games yeah or guillotine games in French mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> we did argue about that because yes. I can't say guillotine as nice as Leo does <laughs> <laughs> especially Nicolas Raoult mm -hmm. who's a good friend of mine 
that I've known for a, a very long time, mm -hmm. and I've know, I know that they have been working on that. And then it has come to the supervision of Eric Lang, who's also a, a good friend uh, that I've known for years mm. and years uh, back at the you time. You knew him before his hair was as yeah. wild and awesome <laughs> and untamed as it is now. I think now. it's always been like that. Oh, oh, I think there's a picture of him at Essen like 10 years ago in a suit and a tiny wee stand <laughs> with one of his first games at the convention, yeah. and it's short. And I was like, who is yeah. that guy? <laughs> yeah, he's 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 a, he's a great he's adorable uh, he's a great guy and I've been following him for a long time mm -hmm. because I was you know editor in chief of Game Magazine yeah, so absolutely. I would do some interviews of him back back in the time like probably 10, 10 years ago or even more. But you're only thirty years old, Lee. I know. You I can, know like I how know. you did that at twenty? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I must admit the chat, by the way, is going wild for Leo and Red Ben miniatures as the next Kickstarter. The chat's completely <laughs> forgot oh, about hate. We aren't going to focus on hate, guys. But if you want to give Leo love, please do. <laughs> <laughs> then there's also David Pretty. Yeah, uh, he's uh, from. Uh, Community or not, he's also a good friend of me uh, that I've known for many, many years. He's he's done incredible things. He was very good with me while I was uh, uh, with Ravage. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, Ravage was probably the first magazine to to mention to talk about Zombicide before it was wow. even yeah before it was even on, on Kickstarter. Mm -hmm. They they came to the office uh, uh, and I. I demoed, uh, playtested mm -hmm. the game. I loved it, and then uh, I supported it in the magazine. And then uh, David Pretty has been very good with supporting uh, Ravage mm -hmm. back and yeah. giving us some uh, gorgeous mm -hmm. miniatures that would help uh, us uh, on our subscriptions. Many things like that. So uh, it's a bit of a personal endeavor. This yes, it's, it's, it, it means a lot to you. Yes, yes, it means to me. And uh, because I know they're launching now, and I was at Beast mm -hmm. of War, we had this uh, with this talk with. David Pretty yeah. and the rest of the the or not uh, team, mm -hmm. and so we they sent us a prototype because I was coming here this very day when yeah. they launched, and this was the opportunity. And because we're gamers as well, uh, uh, we try to play once per week uh, a game of a different company, and we oh, might nice. even shoot that on video. And last time it was uh, we did it with uh, Cthulhu mm -hmm. Wars. Mm -hmm. We played that. Uh, and we're going to do that yeah. regularly, not just our games, but because we game is also other That's people's game. That's a great approach, yeah. a great way to get a different mix of designers, different mix of companies, different mix of art even. And just because yeah. I must admit, I probably find myself getting stuck into one designer or stuck into one company without even meaning to. Yes. That's a nice approach. You need to keep your eyes open and your, your spirit open to see what uh, what's the good games that are out there. and. Okay, yes, we we all have our games, but mm -hmm. it's it's a good opportunity for us to well, to do that. <laughs> and so oh, yeah. So And so we had a conversation, we had a big Skype with Eric mm -hmm. and uh, Tiago yeah. uh from Comunia Nord mm -hmm. and Ben and myself. And so they explained to us the concept. Uh we read the uh the, the books. Yeah. I can tell you about the universe if you're, if you're Please. interested. Please. Yes, absolutely. Because I must admit, I don't know a huge amount of, of, about the universe, other than what we've seen in the, the initial trailer video and the, and the art and the little droplets about the tribe Simon's been giving us. So, yeah, give us a little bit of background. Well, uh, it's it's based, as I said, on uh, Chronicle of Hate, mm -hmm. which is uh, a, a comic, uh, a big one, mm -hmm. like many, many pages. Not many words because it's very yeah, yeah it's, it's nice and easy to read yeah <laughs> yeah the pictures well I but wouldn't say that it's easy <laughs> to read actually I would say it's not easy to read because of course you don't mm -hmm. have many words yes. to read yeah. but you need to pay attention to uh, pay attention to all of the yeah. uh, um, the details the, all the yeah, specific things yes, you miss and all of yeah. the uh, all of the art tells you something and sometimes you need to focus and so my advice would be not to read it too fast yeah. to just read and look at each image Take and try in. to see to get uh, the immersion try to see the details and follow mm -hmm. and of course you can read uh, the very very few words <laughs> that are uh, uh, on this i think it's over 200 pages uh, altogether so that's wow. a lot and it's uh, it tells a story and uh, well this story is well it's set in a fantasy universe mm -hmm. uh, yes a fantasy universe where the, the goddess uh, mother earth uh, is if not killed at least uh disappeared or in slumber yeah, yeah or she, just... she has trouble yeah. uh and because she has disappeared mm -hmm. she's been attacked uh the world has turned into uh this mess yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. and uh it's 
all of the, well, there used to be probably a civilization. Yeah. Well, I'm telling you the way I understood it. Mm -hmm. yeah. It might be different, but it's the way I understood mm -hmm. it wh while reading yeah. uh, this thing. Uh, and it's become very savage, mm -hmm. it's be very primitive and very violent. Yeah. Uh, and so you follow the story of a three-legged mutant, a puny small one. Really? Yes. yes. Wow. You follow the story of this, this guy uh, as he's being chased by other, other people. Mm -hmm. uh, he, he has stolen a key that could help uh, uh, save so, yeah. uh, the, the, the goddess mm -hmm. that has been uh, captured and tortured. Knowingly by... stole it or accidentally? No, 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 willingly. They, oh. She has been captured and, well, oh yeah, does he know about what mm. he's doing? Well... Oh, you're going to have to read yes, the details. Yes. Yeah. I'm not going to tell you everything, right? What I have to tell you is that the game, the board game, is set in this universe, yeah. but it's not an adaptation mm -hmm. of the comic, of the story. Yeah. So right now, for instance, we don't see this little mutants, we see fighters. They might be in the, in the Kickstarter. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't know the details on the Kickstarter. <clears throat> I'm just telling you from yeah. a fan's point of view. Yeah. Okay? And it's worth noting, guys, we will absolutely be showing you the board, some of the cards, the dice, the minis. We'll be getting to all those later on. Don't worry, they're coming. And it's worth noting as well, just answering uh, Whit Dooley there. Uh, Leo from Mythic is here just by chance. It just happened he was in Beasts of War. Um, so he's, Mythic's not tied directly to hate with uh, Simon and Guillotine Game. Yeah. So just to be very clear again. Yeah, we'll have to repeat that yeah. over time as people are joining us and might wonder why we are here so yes so yeah you follow this story and you can see that uh, you have a lot of warriors very brutal very primitive yeah. very savage uh, tribes mm -hmm. and survivors uh, and you have some that are bigger usually in this game uh, it's like for orcs mm -hmm. uh, the bigger the stronger yeah. so uh, the puny little mutants, some of them are not strong. You mm -hmm. have probably some strong mutants as well. Yeah. And you have lots of uh, very savage humans. And then you have the big, big guys that you can see here uh, that, are, that are called the prince. Yeah. Well, and, that, and in this game, you will play a prince and some of your uh, tribe, your, your tribe, there, yeah. Uh, your warriors, followers, yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. You play eight, is that correct? Eight, mini mm -hmm. eight men, eight oh, miniatures. 11. Uh, uh, 11, 11, sorry, yes. 11. One plus 10 uh, yeah. followers. Mm -hmm. uh, and so, yeah, these, these guys are bigger, much stronger. Mm -hmm. and, and then you have uh, one guy who's called the tyrant. Mm -hmm. uh, I think I would assume, I'm not sure, again, I haven't, I, I don't know everything. He's I this think, guy. Yeah, this guy, <laughs> this guy on the cover. Yeah. Is, uh, so I think the purpose of the game is to become yourself mm -hmm. a tyrant. Mm -hmm. So you have your prince and you will, well, it's, uh, it's a game for two to four or five or six players, right? Yeah, we've had a, sure. few, a few questions have come along asking about mm. what type of game it is. Is it skirmish? So yeah. you want to tell us, Ben, how does I this actually work out in the tabletop? It is a campaign game. So when you play a game, you play the game one versus one. Mm -hmm. But you're fighting over control of a, a map, yeah. an area map. So you play it like, it's called a chronicle, but it's like a league or a campaign. Yeah. So you, you come up, I believe there's four tribes in the mm -hmm. call box. So you could have up to four people playing it, mm -hmm. but only two people will be playing the game at once. At any given point. At any yeah, given okay. point. Now you could have two copies of it, yeah. and those four people could be playing simultaneously. Okay. Yep. But that that's makes sense. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. um, and when you play a game, it's called a clash. And you, one person plays as the attacker. Okay. One person plays as the defender. Mm -hmm. You have a battle. Yeah. And then you flip. Mm -hmm. And then. One per that person who is the attacker becomes the defender, the okay. person who is the defender becomes the attacker, and you play another battle, and you're fighting for control of areas on the map. If the attacker wins, they'll take the area. Yeah, and it's because it's worth noting that your, your homestead, the place that you See, have... See, this where is the map. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's see if I can get a little, a little look at that. So this is it's a nice yeah. close-up to show you some of the areas on it. Yeah. So you see, it's on the back of your uh, tracking. Uh, you're, you're tracking your resources, your hit, and your resources. If you want to pop it, pop it in there for just a second, you'll be able to see it. A full, there's a full mm -hmm. shot of the map on the board. Yeah, so you can so that's see. That's just an A4 version. You can it. see starting areas around the outside, which you'll choose, and then you'll fight for these areas, which give victory points. Mm -hmm. So you choose an area which is either controlled by another player, yep. or which is not controlled by anybody, mm -hmm. and you the person just has to defend it. Yep. And if you win it, you take it. Mm -hmm. If you don't win the game, if you don't, the game lasts four rounds, if you don't win the game and you're the attacker, 
the defender effectively wins. Wow, so it's really quite fast. Yeah. Four rounds, that's Four not rounds. long at all. Apparently about 45 to 60 minutes for yeah. battle, you'll pay two battles, so about two hours yeah. for a full game. Okay, and I mean, I assume there must be some big strategic difference between being an attacker and defender because your tribe, your your fortification, I, just looking at how apocalyptic this world is, it must mean everything to you. So I assume the defenders really will get some kind of advantage for holding that ground. Well, you see, you have scenarios like this one. This oh, yeah, is also yeah. a scenario. And we have, we've tried to set it up like here. Uh, you see, so... Oh, spin the other oh, way. There we, go. Yep. there we go, we'll get it around to you. Yeah. Okay, so, yeah. So, yeah, so this is the scenario and this is the setup that we've done. You've, mm -hmm. you've got the defender, uh, yeah, the deployment area for the attacker mm -hmm. and the defender. Yeah. Uh, you've, you see, you, you use this baseboard and then you add some, uh, some tiles uh, on, on, on it and then you create your, yeah. <laughs> so you're going to have a different, every scenario you play is going to have a slightly different. Yeah, yes. And then you've got, you've got the defenders mm -hmm. objective yeah if you want to actually bring, bring it down there for a second we should be able to get a little bit closer to show one, one of these here. there you go so you've got the attacker mission here pillage yeah. the village mm -hmm. so if you successfully pillage four huts yeah which the huts are the tiles so mm -hmm. when you attack this area you, you don't just fight the other people you can pillage their terrain and yeah. steal their stuff um, and if you successfully pillage four huts you get that's the resource mm -hmm. so you'll gain three resources the other resource you'll be gaining is hate <laughs> so hate is yeah, actually, hate is actually resource, something you build up over which the Which maybe you get for killing. So okay. kill the opponent's prince and either their shaman or champion mm -hmm. will give you some hate. And then you'll track how much of each you've got. Mm -hmm. <coughs> on that sheet. On that yes, sheet because there. people, you can, you can have your prince killed and then you will have another one. So oh, wow. some, another one will replace him. Yeah. And you can have your warriors mm -hmm. killed, captured or uh, wounded. Yeah. And there's something interesting also about this game is that you keep track of everyone's uh, record. Yeah. That means you could either uh, get some bonuses mm -hmm. and then you will add it and we will show mm -hmm. how, how yeah. you do that. Or you can you could get some scars, which means you will get some uh, uh, negative modifiers. Negative or modifiers. A, a yeah. debuff essentially, yeah. yeah. And if you get two of the same, same type of scar, mm -hmm. you're dead. Wow. Yeah. My goodness. Yep. So and and oh wow, that's actually really terrifying. So yeah. so yes, de we, I mean, from what we've seen in the game so far, death is going to be rampant. It yeah. seems like. But then you can recruit another warrior okay. once you have. Yeah. You always have a you team have uh, of eleven. Exactly or, eleven. So do I do I have other options instead of killing people? Can I do other things with my opponent's men? <laughs> oh, okay then. So oh oh okay, oh, then. okay then. So <laughs> when you get into a combat, yeah, and you roll, if the attacker wins, they don't do damage. Yeah. they don't kill them. They knock them down. Okay. And while they're knocked down, somebody can pick them up. Right. If you pick up one of your enemy's people mm -hmm. and you have them at the end of the game, you can take them back to your village okay. and you can choose either to cook them and eat them <laughs> <laughs> and get okay. like to gain resources, yeah, resources? or wow. just torture them to death to gain hate, to fuel your hate and get more hate resources. Oh, how lovely. Yes. So eat them. So or dying them. on the battlefield is the preferred option. It's a blessing. <laughs> yes. <laughs> My word. <laughs> <coughs> that's crazy. That's, uh, that's that's darker than I really uh, I really thought it would be. Yeah. Um, so I assume you're not just going to have your characters being upgraded over time or being scarred over time, but your yeah. village is going to be doing the same. Yeah, I don't know if you can see. The yeah, yeah, we can. Here, you can either hold it up yourself, and we're going to. You see a little. So it's just a little sheet. Yeah. But if you want to put it under. So, yeah. 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 I'll yeah. Put it here. There you go. So in between your battles, mm -hmm. so the, after the first battle and after the second battle, you'll go back to your village. Okay. To have a an intermission, a wag. An, an, inter an intermission <laughs> is what it's called. <laughs> oh. <laughs> How are you sort of regal. Yeah. Uh, okay, we'll stop and have an that, that might change in the final copy. <laughs> <laughs> so you can, so you can, so you have to upgrade these with the ones which are yeah. blank boxes. You can see this uh -huh. here. So we have the torture pit. So you start with one crossed out already. That mm -hmm. means at the end of a battle, mm -hmm. you can take one killed captive back and torture him to death. Oh. Okay. As you were going up that other track <laughs> that I was showing you before, yeah, so you generate yeah. hate and resources, you unlock more upgrades. And one of the ways you can spend those upgrades is crossing off more boxes. Right. And then you've got different buildings. So the Hall of Heroes, mm -hmm. that's you get mercenaries. Mm -hmm. okay. The way you get a mercenary, you've got a mercenary in the middle of the board here. Do you want to bring him in, actually, and see if we show him off? Have yeah. You got? We got him here. Oh, look at this. Is that a him? him? <laughs> it's a mercenary. Wow. So you have to have the Hall of Heroes slots available. Well, yeah. he looks like he could be a prince. Yeah. We assume, because we received this prototype, yeah. we don't know. We assume, because 
we, we could see that we, you could do the setup of this scenario yeah. and there's only one million left that you have <coughs> to place and it's this one so yeah. we assume this is a mercenary but he could be one of your princes it could, be, okay. it could just uh, be the sculpt uh, we know, have yeah. for the demo copy yeah so obviously in but this it's world, beautiful sculpt yeah. oh, okay, yeah. in this it's, world it's money gorgeous. is not really a big deal mm -hmm. so if you want to recruit a mercenary you have to go up to them on the battlefield knock them out carry them off to your village wow. and recruit them and and because you can only have exactly 11 people you have to get rid of one of your other guys to make space for him <laughs> <laughs> my goodness that's crazy so you can't even sell your other guy off you're just like you're not no through. you're just out you're kicked out no the space in the village for you anymore off you go wow that's decimating uh -huh. my goodness uh oh that's just i, I love the brutality of it i love to say you're gonna have to make really tough choices or really easy ones because the first guy to be. get a scar is yeah just, yeah yeah if you've got to worry who's got two or three scars on yeah. them then you get away you're just out of here gone. you're gone and whenever you head onto the battlefield so we haven't really looked at the, the overall look here this is just a, a kind of two-thirds kind of a, a close-up of the battlefield these huts and this terrain you mentioned is going to change in every scenario mm -hmm. look yeah. do the do these huts represent things? Is there anything? What else do they do? Yeah, you they can, you can pillage or plunder them. So if we turn it over, hopefully, yes, you can see there's resources you can get. That's a savage retogan. Do you want to grab it over and have a look under it? We see it a bit closer there. Can you? Yep. Uh, oh, I'll try and get it over here. I'll get it over there here. We go. So, yep, so this is the other side of the tile. Mm -hmm. So as I understand it, you can pillage the huts. Yeah. Presumably that flips it. Mm -hmm. And you can see you get resources for doing it. Yeah. So you're just plundering the defender's huts mm -hmm. and taking their stuff. Yeah. Um, and I believe these are slightly different, so you can't be sure when you plunder it yeah. what it is that you're going to yeah. get. Mm -hmm. It's nice having a bit of a random and uh, random uh, element to the game, and also something to encourage you if you're done killing yeah. uh, to go and spend a couple of your four rounds getting involved in. Well, the in way you win else. the campaign, actually, the way you win your chronicles, sorry, is you get victory points for the areas you've taken. Okay. You've got those two tracks. You've yeah. got your resource track and your hate track. Mm -hmm. You add the victory points that you've got on the map yep. to the lowest of these two tracks. Oh. So you really need to be getting hate and resources as you go. It's not enough just to be going yep. out and killing if you don't also get the resources for it. Yeah. Because you, you can't then take control of the of the map. Quite interesting. Yeah. yeah, that's 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 quite nice actually. It makes a lot of sense um, that you'd have to you'd have to balance them and not just focus yeah. on, on one. Yeah. And because if you become rage filled all the time you're just you're <laughs> slabbering at the mouth but your age you haven't eaten for two weeks and you Indeed. fall over. Exactly. Um, yeah. Your buildings are crumbling the dust. And the, the weaponry and stuff that we're seeing on these guys, I mean, it's pretty primitive. Do you want to grab? Is that this yeah. is one of our princes here? Yes, you want to. Sh um, yeah. yeah, let's have a look at it. Like, look at this. Because, oh, look at, yeah. yeah, look at it's it's gorgeous. I mean, so many details and so crispy. Needs so more skulls. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's just got that look of I need. I just need a few extra. I can fit some on my belt here, or I can fit some. Like this is. Uh, and they are twice the size of uh, yep. the other guys. Mm -hmm. Um, so we've got, about, we've got about 25 minutes before the Kickstarter goes live. Oh, yeah, so it's yeah, going yeah. to 8 p.m. GMT. Now, we're going we're gonna to sit and chat for a bit. We're still going to take questions from you guys as well. So if there's anything you want specifically answered other than why Leo is here, please feel free to pop them in chat <laughs> and we'll, uh, we'll come to them. Um, um, I would like to show uh, how you, you, you track, you, you put the, the bonuses on your... This is awesome. This is something I, I've yeah. Mystic Veal is a game I, I've loved. It's, it's, it's deck building in a completely different way. And they've implemented it here. Yeah. Wonderfully, yeah. get a few of these. So this this is what happens whenever one of your characters. So yeah. yeah. So as you go up those tracks with mm -hmm. hate yeah. and with resources, you unlock upgrades. So as I say, we've seen the village, but yeah. this is another kind of upgrade you can mm -hmm. get. And this is so how you do it. You need to put your the card yeah. of your guy. So for instance, this is my champion. Yeah. Cool. So my champion, you see, he's got a, a brown color. Pop them, pop them yes. Yeah. yeah. He's got a brown color. Yeah. So that means it's it's this guy because you can see the brown base, yeah. right? So I can recognize him instantly. You have to put your card in a sleeve mm -hmm. so that you can add the transparent bonus or uh, penalties. Can I just say, always sleeve your cards, all right? Yeah. Just yeah. sleeve them. Just yeah, start doing it. So <laughs> if, if, you if I it. sleeve this one, if I want to add this bonus to this guy, yeah. I simply put it in here. Yeah. And then now you can see that he's got this gorgeous, this bonus. He can also have, well, and you can have more than one, and yeah. he could also have penalties Let's as we. See if we can find something. If we can find it, it would have to be oh, black. A black one. A black oh, one. Yeah, yeah. Black one. Mm -hmm. Yes, go. a black one. Yeah. Uh, yeah oh, one. there's one. Yeah. Yeah, some of them just block out an upgrade slot. They yeah. don't do anything else mm -hmm. but block out an upgrade slot. For instance, this one. Okay. Yeah. No bodies. Uh, okay, this one okay. is. One this one will, if, if I get this one too, this one will oh. block. So just this, this see thing. if you can tilt it a little, just to see if we can <coughs> show. Ooh. Yeah. There you go. Indeed. 
So you, they're they're not just putting your scar on you; they're blocking a slot that could have had an upgrade on yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. They'll overwrite it. You couldn't have an upgrade there. And that's how you're going to know instantly if you've gone and gotten two yeah. scars because you're going to slide down and go, "Oh no, this is somebody's already been injured. His yeah. leg's gone twice. He's now useless to Indeed. us." Indeed, you have two in the same place. Kaput. Yeah, I must admit, I, I very much like this, and actually, quite a lot of people in chat saying that's nice and that they like it as well. Um, for me, the big thing, and this may sound really silly, but it continually shows the art. You're yeah. not blocking the miniature, and also. I love that you ride on the map and I love that you ride on your, on your stats, but 11, 11 strong tribe or war band, that's quite a lot to keep track of. And the fact that you can just slide in and say, that's him. I don't, yes. need, to, I don't need to you, you ride a bunch your, of stuff. You keep your deck of, you know, of guys. Yeah. Then you have oh, some special... Here, I'll, I'll, let you, I'll let you hold them up there. You're okay. going to see them in front of you a bit, a bit easier. Oh. <laughs> that's, that's a money shot right there. That's a, that's a wallpaper. <laughs> And then, yeah, on the back you have a close-up of, of each, each of them. And then you have some, some special cards that you, you can play during the game. Oh, yeah, sure, yep. So you've got every tribe has got its own deck of cards. So this is kind of where some of the flavors is going to yeah. make you unique. Um, S yeah, so this is where a lot of how your tribe is going to play on the table yeah. is going to come through. So it's a completely unique deck of cards. Mm -hmm. So your cards my work. tribe is called Umkal. Yeah. Yours is called Umrak. Umrak. They all yeah. start with Um. <laughs> do they, they? Do, they do. They also with um. Does anyone know the mm. translation for um? Anyone mm. in chat can tell us what it must be. Um must be tribe, right? So, for example, this one here is Wall of Loathing. Do you want to pop it under? If you're coming pop in close. The camera. So this is a cost of one savagery token. You get five of these a turn, and you can get more okay. during the round. Sorry, five around. Okay. But you need these to activate your guys. Gotcha. But also, you can spend them on your cards. Yeah. So, Wall of Loathing tells you when to play it. Mm -hmm after rolling defense and then it tells you what it does yeah you get two around and you just place them face up in front of you so your yeah. opponent will see them mm -hmm. and you'll see theirs yeah. over the course of the round you can trigger them if mm -hmm. the triggering conditions yeah. met and you can pay the cost but if you don't spend them at the end of the round off they go oh wow and then so you you're, get... you're committing to a strategy but don't necessarily have to spend the savagery, savagery yeah. tokens to go so into you're it. drawing these at random yeah so this is going to probably dictate a lot of what you do on your turn okay so if you if you overturn one which says your models move an extra space, mm -hmm. then you might think, well, this turn I've got to make Take advantage of that, of that yeah. and get to a place that I mm -hmm. need to be getting to. <laughs> and like I say, each of these decks will probably determine a lot about how your tribe mm -hmm. plays on the table. That's really interesting. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like round by round buffs. It's kind of like mm -hmm. round by round um, benefits and boons that you're going to have to decide. Well, I suppose that's when you customize your deck. You really hope they come up in the yeah. order you want them. Um, I mean, in the savagery, savagery tokens can be a bit of an issue because one savagery token mm -hmm. yeah. activates two models. Yeah. You've got five. Okay. You've got 11 models. Oh, you're always leaving someone out. So you Some can person. get more. When you roll the combat dice, they yeah. can give you more. Mm -hmm. Do you want to grab one of the dice, actually, and bring yeah, them yeah. in? Show them just right in. These are, well, this yeah. is a prototype. Of course. This of is course. not the final. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. This will not look like the, it will be. Will not, yeah, yeah. Show you some of the symbols that you yeah. have. So yeah. That's a sword, you want that when you attack. <laughs> that's a shield, you want that when you defend. The burst is a wild. Yeah, okay. You choose a side. Yeah. But if you roll any skulls, each one you roll gives you a oh, savagery token. Okay. So rolling skulls is good because mm -hmm. it gives you savagery tokens. Each guy can only be activated once. Okay. So, per round. So you yeah. can't yeah, once yeah. per round. So you can't get three more savagery yeah. tokens and do your guys again. But for each one of these, you roll like you get a savagery token. Mm -hmm. You're not getting a sword. You're not getting a shield. Yeah. Your combat's not going to go as well for you. And also, mm -hmm. there are at the top here of the village board. You've got your forge, and you can spend these f for one-off effects. Where is this one? So that's roll plus one die. I can spend that upgrade with a savagery token. So that's the other thing you spend these on. Right. <coughs> so between, so in the intermission or between yeah. between your your clashes, you're going to be able to upgrade, and then that's going to unlock potential battle clash abilities in the you, future you get these can we show this under yeah the of course cam? yep so uh, where are we so here we go yeah so the ones that are crossed which will come like this yeah. you have that you have one use of that right you can unlock more as you unlock upgrades okay and then each round you can spend the ones you've unlocked gotcha okay. with a savagery token so you're balancing your savagery tokens between activating your guys yeah spend yeah using your tribe cards yeah and using these bonuses. Wow, so you're very likely to leave more than one guy actually doing nothing. And because one activates two, that makes yeah. one card or two guys an even tougher proposition. Yeah. Okay. Um, and so you said it was four rounds for a clash? Four rounds. 
my goodness, that's crazy. Whenever it's you activate fast. a model, yeah. it moves up to three spaces yeah. and it does an action. And then is it back and forth activations? I spend a token. Yeah. You spend a token. Mm -hmm. Okay. I spend a token. You spend a token. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So two at a time, two at a time. So I've just got a wee, there's the board, so you can sort of get an idea of what's happening if the two tribes were, were lining up. Do we know which tribe is which? Yes. It's it's written and you can you can see the, yeah. the art. Yeah. So my prince is Umka, so that means here in, in, in this setting, mm -hmm. I'm uh, the uh, attacker. Okay. okay. Yes. And the defender is the Um. Yep, so um, I've got the defender. Do you want to put your prince card in and we'll grab um the rack. prince mini to show your... Because oh, he's just a monster. Yes. There we go. So there he is. So rolls for a dice in attack. Yeah. Rolls for a dice in defense. Yeah. Has the toughness ability. Okay. Um, and if he gets upgrades, obviously you'll get more mm -hmm. stuff. And if you flip the card, you can see it from uh, uh, on the other closer. side. It tells yeah. you Your which tribe. tribe that you belong to. Yeah. And the red bit, if you weren't entirely sure mm -hmm. from the size of the miniature, <laughs> will still let you know that that's a prince. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and just answering chat. So this is when we talk about max players. When you actually play a clash, when you actually have a head-to-head -head battle, it is two players. It is one versus yeah. one. But the general feel is to really get four, even maybe more players, to engage in this chronicle together <laughs> to to grow your tribe to kill off your tribes, yep. to hire mercenaries, to upgrade and slot those and cards. to eventually and become yeah. the tyrant. Yeah, yeah. Pro so it, it's, it's probably worth saying that there may be multiplayer options, yeah. but if there are... At this stage, we're, we're as yeah, far as we're aware, yeah. Yeah, we just say what we know, this what we what heard, we, yeah. and we hope we... We, <laughs> we hope we the game starts to go live in 15 yeah, minutes yeah. and say, oh, <laughs> prove us wrong. Any mistakes <laughs> in the rules? They may don't blame Eric or Tiago. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, we're doing we're doing this as fans and intrigued in because this is the first time I'm getting to really ask yeah. some questions. I think myself it's the well. first time this prototype is ever shown anywhere. So, it's thank it's you nice. for bringing it. Yeah, well, and thank you for to call me or not to sending for sending it to us. Yeah, I mean, there's some interesting questions in chat. I think you know there's some concern about you know does one v one suffer from snowball effects? I think because you can so easily um, replace if you need to or upgrade. I, I I'm yeah. not so worried. Um, about one tribe overwhelming the other by the sounds no. of the Chronicles here. Um, you, you capture or knock out a single guy and bring him back, you could completely debilitate another tribe taking their key killer. Yeah. Um, you well, get you that can, one guy. If you knock, if, if one of your guys gets knocked out mm -hmm. and he's a, a guy who's got a lot of upgrades yeah. and a guy you really want and he gets picked up and carried around, mm -hmm. if you can get to the person carrying that model and knock them out, yeah. they'll drop them. Yeah. Or one of your guys can go and pick them up first mm -hmm. and you can protect them. Yeah. If it's a guy that's got a bunch of scars in that, mm -hmm. you can just yeah. leave him and say, have him, take him, mm -hmm. I'll replace him. Yeah, so it's going to, that, that in, interestingly, the balance may even come from you throwing forward your guys who are already scarred yeah. to sacrifice, to lock down, to outnumber, depending on your tribe's yeah. cards. So you don't need to maybe worry so much about having a perfectly level battlefield every time, because in this, not every person, not every killer <laughs> is, is equal. <laughs> no. Nice. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, what else? Anything else we haven't shown off this uh, I think we could just show to the people uh, the models, the, 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 the warriors. So let's let's. So do warriors are warriors are your most common. Yeah. Unit. Well, you have well, warriors, you have shamans. Mm -hmm. I think we can count them up. Uh, Absolutely. Count them the cards. Yeah. One, two, three, four, four warriors. Okay. One, two. Actually, I have six, six warriors. warriors. It got triple of two warriors. young blood. Yep. Okay. Young bloods. Then you have like a special character. I have one called Shea. You have your prince. Um, the mercenary. Oh, it's the mercenary. Yeah, sure. Oh, okay. Yeah, the, we, uh, stretch, stretch goals, of course, can always change anything when it comes to a Kickstarter uh, campaign manual. Um, at the moment, as far as we're aware, okay. it's 1v1. Have a shaman. Um, have a shaman. A shaman. <laughs> yeah. But that could, yeah. that could absolutely change. The campaign, obviously, is going live in 14 minutes. So uh, we may see some of those stretch goals very, so very soon. quickly, yeah. <laughs> well, I think all these... Uh, this is probably part of the box, yeah. and you have m many more miniatures yeah. than this. You I think you have 51. 51 miniatures. 51 miniatures. Yeah. Yeah. So, so if you think four tribes, 11 models exactly, and a tribe is 44. Yeah. So we've got seven more miniatures. That mercenary is probably one of them. Wow. So you think more. all four tribes are going to come in the, in the main uh, box? As far as I'm yeah. aware, you get the four tribes in the box, yeah. yeah. So they, they quite, I had a question there saying, you know, what are the other players doing when the battle's going on? I think you just run two battles. Yeah. Uh, the average the average time for a battle, uh, Curtis, is between 45 and 60 minutes, we yep. think. But a clash is actually done over two stages. So an attacker will attack a defender. Then you have an intermission and a chance to go back to your 
Is there a name for your it's a village. settlement? Village, village, village yeah. Um, and then you'll have a reverse clash with the attack and defender. So it's basically balanced in terms of the, the setup. Um, and the scenarios will be different every time. Um, 2v2 could end up being a stretch goal. Absolutely shouldn't be too hard to, to implement. Um, but I must admit, I'd love to see a whole rule. I get six, seven, eight friends over and just everybody get a game going. Yeah. There's something really nice about you and I battle. And then, oh, I did really well. So now I'm going to go battle him. But the campaign map will help decide who meets who and where mm -hmm. and how that builds up over time. Absolutely. Do you want to yeah. show the campaign map even just for another second? There's quite a few people who have come in, come in a little bit late. Um, so if you haven't seen the campaign yep. map, guys, or the chronicle map, yeah, we've got it on both we'll pop, sides we'll pop here, it in we? there. Yeah. Yeah. This uh, one? Or? Yeah, pop, yeah, pop up yeah, on, the, on the map side, on the, on the, on the mm -hmm. universe. That's it. So for anyone that came in late, this is, this is basically the chronicle map that you're going to be working your way around. And it's the outside these dark areas. That's where you start. Is that right? No, no. no. You start. Can you see where yeah. you've got the oh, little gotcha. badges? Yeah. I assume you probably write something in there to show that's where you're starting. You're going to have to name yeah. your tribe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Personalize your it. Tribe. So, oh, yeah. Try it. So Umrak. So I would write Umrak starting yeah. there. Yeah. So and got, yeah, the very first one only bring you one victory points, but the, the further uh, you go, mm -hmm. and once you go to the middle, then the second layer is two victory points, and here it's three victory three points. Three victory points, because, yeah. Yes. Yeah, so that's worth three outside territories. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so we were going to look at some of the minis, some of the warriors what? and yeah. shamans yeah, yeah, yeah. and, and, and so youngbloods. This is the shaman, mm -hmm. you know. Well, you could see the art and yeah. then you can see the mini. It's stunning. Gorgeous. I love that they've embraced the art just to put a full character on, not just a headshot, not a shoulders, but the full, full figure on the card. Well, my champion. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I must admit, He's the one that's kind of struck out for me a little bit. When I was looking initially in the kind of last few weeks to see which one caught my eye, it's the relaxedness of the big, huge double cleavers where he's just like, yep, yeah. I am me. Deal with it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, come he's got a real attitude. And for me, I would want to name everybody, which is risky because you're going to lose a lot of yeah. people in this game, which is going to mean emotional ties. Indeed. <laughs> you have some times. female characters as well, okay. like this one. Maybe I have... There we go. No. No. Nope. Um, yeah, yeah, there she is. Like yeah, Trouble Greg. Very much like, it does sound like a chronicle kind of will have a feel of a mini tournament. Like a campaign, like an ongoing thing as you all grow together. It does yeah. definitely sound like that's the way it's going. Sure, of course. I mean, there's nothing to say you couldn't just play a game. No, absolutely yeah, not. Yeah, yeah, you're not obliged to do a chronicle, yeah. but obviously that's... And that's there's customization yeah. in your, your deck of your cards, so you yeah. can mix and match and just have one-off games. Yeah, 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 you can play a one-off game, you're not forced to play a chronicle. And then... Uh, Based on the, what I've read, mm -hmm. and I have no idea again what they, what will be in the Kickstarter. Yep. I'm just, what just we, as what a we fan, see right now, as yeah. I said. So, because I've read uh, the, the, the the books, I would assume that you would have some mutants, as mm -hmm. I said. Yes, actually. I would assume that at some points you will have also some. Well, at some point, they, they ride some creatures that are in between <gasps> dinosaurs and dragons. So what? Could you have oh. this? I mean, this is also a possibility. Yeah. Uh, and then, of course, well, you have the big tyrant uh, yeah. here. I suppose you, you will have him. But I think you have some exciting things in that book. Plenty uh, of space to grow yeah. into, yeah. So... Well, that's we'll no, a scenario. <laughs> but I don't know. Again, yeah. I know I don't. We're, we're, we haven't asked yeah. nope. uh, anything about nope. the Kickstarter. We just wanted to know how it played. See the minis. Yeah. Uh, share the excitement and see and just yeah. right again before yeah, for anyone that's asking. We're, it's purely this is just a bit of a, a fan enjoyment, giving a chance for all of us to have a chat about this. This is this is just us having a, a nosy really. Mm -hmm. um, cool. What are all the other tokens you've got over there? You've got a bunch of stuff, Ben. That yeah. Well, keep some of these I'm going to take a guess at, but I've got to... Do you want to... Do you know what? Take a guess. I'll I'll take I'm, a guess fine, I'm fine with guessing at this stage. Do you want to put the... Leo... <laughs> there's calls for Leo knows on a t-shirt. I'd, I'd wear that shirt. <laughs> uh, let's have a look. So this is a resource token. Okay. You'll yeah. collect these as That's, you... So that is you, definitely a body yeah. part. Yep. That's yes. <laughs> when yeah. you've killed them, in, uh, put them in the oven, or uh -huh. you, you get this. And this is a hate token. You're okay. the yeah, other yeah. resource of the game. Mm -hmm. And this... These are your savagery tokens, which, as we were saying, you activate yep. your models, mm -hmm. you buy your cards. Now, this, I'm going to guess, says something's on fire. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to yep. go with something's on fire. It's whether it's huts or people. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what that is. I'm going to guess this is an objective for a scenario. Okay. Now, this one. Oh, no. Any guesses? Well, it's either a very talented cave artist uh -huh. or it's a family that should be left alone. <laughs> Innocent bystanders. <laughs> oh, no. Yes. 
<laughs> oh man, okay, okay. And then we've got a couple of bonus tokens here if you've got the most hate or the most resources. Oh, nice. Yeah. And that uh, seems to be the tokens. Mm -hmm. <coughs> I, I mean, I, I, I'm not going to lie. I, I want to play it. I want to see what it's like. Um, I want to roll some dice. Um, I, I'm, I'm a huge fan of games that incorporate cards and dice. I, yeah. I like the idea of deck building to customize it to my, my play and then... And, and, and yeah, see how that this, rolls out. This little, it's kind of a skirmish game on a campaign. It reminds me of Necromander. Yeah, and, oh yeah, uh, those types. Mm -hmm. yeah. And also, as you said, a little bit of Blood Bowl in yeah. the fact yeah. that you you have to play with some friends and yeah. you evolve in this campaign. So I think it's, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it, it reminds me mm -hmm. of many, many good memories. And, mm -hmm. uh, and of course, the, the miniatures look gorgeous. Mm. They have this look that is... Um, in between uh, Mad Max and uh, Corn, like, yeah, you know? yeah, 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 yeah. Very they, they're very chaos, nice chaos yeah. miniatures, very nice so, chaos miniatures. And would would you are you a, are you a painter, Leo? Would you put paint on these well, yourself? Well, it's you? been a very long time since I last painted. I don't have any time anymore. But oh. yes, yes. Um, I would love to see them painted. <laughs> it's a bit time to call in some favours, wouldn't it? Seb Levine on the phone. Hi, Seb. Uh, I've just backed the Kickstarter from Simon. Any chance you could uh, help me out, please? Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, I think it's uh, very exciting. I think the, the minis are absolutely gorgeous. Again, the universe. Uh, I'm, I'm insisting the universe is very, very cool. Uh, the, these books is is different from what you've you've seen. Uh, it's uh, there's even even though it's very a harsh universe mm -hmm. there's uh poetry mm -hmm. uh and this this really is adrian smith yeah. uh the way he draws it's very powerful but it's also very uh emotive it's very yeah. yeah and yeah so i suggest if people have can can buy them the mm -hmm. the, the comic books to read them because mm -hmm. it will put you into the the universe the 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 game itself is not an adaptation mm -hmm. of this story. Yeah. It's set in this universe and, and, and the way, but you definitely recognize uh, the uh, the characters and the, yeah. it's... The thing that struck me, because when we first started the, the live stream, one of the things when you were talking about the background was that it is a fantasy apocalyptic setting, which yes. is very different to me, because when I think apocalyptic, I think obviously leather jackets, yeah. but I think fighting for water, fighting for oil. But this, this removes <laughs> all the humanity almost yeah. from it yeah. and frees it to yes. just do whatever it wants to do and let it be a bit more wild yes, uh, and not have it. to worry about hierarchies. It is just who's the strongest. And there's, yeah. there's something nice about a simplicity of that. Yes, that's exactly it. Oh, <laughs> people are like, when does it launch? Six minutes, six minutes, almost. <laughs> <laughs> so guys, do you have any questions? I know, Leo, you've got your stream going. If you want to ask anybody on Leo's personal Facebook page, you can write questions <laughs> there. So yeah, if you're on YouTube or your Facebook or on Twitch or even on, on beastofwar.com or if you're on Leo's personal Facebook. Well, somebody is asking, is hate actually a good place? Well, you know. Well, it's... Uh, you know, it's something that we've been saying during our Kickstarter yeah, yeah, campaign. Yeah. Or yes, yes, it is. I think it's, so. It's very. It's been very weird when you're when you're talking about a game. It is hit the board game, <laughs> but it's hard when you're sort of talking about talking about hit. Yeah, we're going okay. to sit down and chat about hate. Have it's, you got the box of hate? The box of hate. We're going <laughs> to we're going to unleash hate. It's it's a very strange. <laughs> strange thing to find yourself saying. Um, how would you, Ben, if you were going to play this? Do you, would you think you'd be more inclined to just? Play it one off, or would you do it in one long evening of hate, or do you think you'd go for six month campaigns? Oh, like, a six month campaign, yeah. probably not quite that long. I think I'd probably play it the way we would play a Blood Bowl League, yeah. back in the, or once a week, league. down the uh, local yeah, club. Yeah, we'd meet at a club, or yeah. if somebody's got, I mean, it doesn't take up a lot of space. No, no. If you've got a big enough table for six of mm -hmm. you, could easily do it. So probably play it over a few weeks. Yeah, yeah. I think that's the best. I mean, a one off game will be fun, mm -hmm. but I think to get the best out of this, you want the yeah. campaign, definitely. Want the I campaign. think there's something nice to be said about if you, whoever ends up being the tyrant at the end of a chronicle, yeah. they. Get something for the next time you come back. You know, they get a they get a T-shirt. Yeah, they, oh, they get a trophy. They can right? Cook and eat the person who came last. <laughs> Let's hope it's not the skinny person. There's indeed, not much eating on them. Indeed. Uh, <laughs> um, we have people asking when we're going to play the game. Um, we're probably not going to ende endeavour. Oh yeah, we game forgot now. to say. I think it's Kickstarter exclusive. Oh yes, yes it is. It is. Yes. You so have to back for June the Kickstarter. It will not release uh, in, in in retail, and it's supposed supposedly because of the theme yeah. that is. Well, I don't see it like that. You know, uh, uh, the theme is, yeah, it's violence and stuff, but I don't see it quite like that. Yeah. I think it's... It, but a mother walking her yeah. child through her yeah. store. It's, it's got quite a... The box has quite an image on the yeah, front of yeah, it. Yeah, um, yeah. And it just, you wouldn't want this turned yeah, sideways. No, no, no. <laughs> no. 
No. So, <laughs> sure, sure, yeah. I understand. so they do have a mature content warning, <laughs> so fair yeah. warning. Um, we had a question <laughs> about Leo rather than the game. Will Leo uh, ever do a sci-fi or post-apocalyptic property or setting in the future? It never will it out, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Not really you never, never, know, you never know. You never know. Maybe. You never know. Maybe. <laughs> Um, I think what else what other questions do we have I think a lot of people are really just keen to see what, what I think in three minutes in three it's minutes yes, the Kickstarter it comes live um, yeah. I can't wait to see what the yeah there's going to be probably lots of surprises we're going to be doing exactly the same in fact do you want if it goes live right on time we could almost have a look at it and chat about it if we want to see how it's going uh, I'm going to actually just do some type in here <laughs> and, uh, and see because if it, if it goes live perfectly I would love to have a look I must admit, yes, you're yeah. right. Uh, maybe the the cover is not for everybody, and yeah, but yeah. but I mean, you can see it. You can decide whether it's the type of thing for you. But this, I not, mean, yeah. I would play it with my uh, my teenager son. Uh, yeah. Definitely, mm, yeah. he's yeah. fourteen, and he will love it. I say fourteen-year-old so, me would have loved this as well. Yeah. <laughs> of course, I will not try to use the. Oh, I won't use the the curse words. Of no, course, no, no, no. But you'll just grind them beneath your yeah. heel. And the, the, tra the trailer the was great, though. The, 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 tra yeah. the trailer was super. It, it, it drew you into the world, and I'm not. You don't need to be. You don't need to swear to be drawn into the world. But it really made you realize that if you're going to play this, you're going to go at it full hog. There's no need to say, "Shall we play seriously?" <laughs> or "Shall we play for fun?" <laughs> no, we just put, we're playing hate, man. Just strap on your belt and just let's go. Like, because <laughs> I, I must admit, when I play some games, I worry: should should I go easier? Should we make sure everyone's having fun? At least in hate, I know if I back this i won't have to worry about being nice i can just be myself. <laughs> exactly <laughs> be mean um let's see if i had any more questions coming through anyone asking any questions on your on your chat on you want to have a look to see if anyone's asking <laughs> when does the kickstarter begin two minutes two minutes uh, two minutes uh do do, do 3 p.m when's kickstarter min was the script from the trailer evocative of the writing in the source material uh the trailer they released There's today is very it similar there was a lot more a lot more vocalization than in yeah. natural uh, there's more words yeah. in the trailer than the comic yeah yeah <laughs> yeah mm -mm. somebody's asking if oh you're doing promotion for cool mini or not now so i'm answering why not and we we explained it's it's still the, these kind of things but yes yes uh yeah, at the mo at the moment, um, Coleman and our Simon don't actually have a, a sort of a preview page up. So we are actually <coughs> just like you, very much waiting for the link. Uh, it's going <laughs> to yeah, it's going to launch uh, any time now, right? In yeah, any minute. Yeah. Any minute. <coughs> what time is it? It's not. Oh, but there you go. In a minute. In a minute. Also, mm -hmm. depending on how timely it goes live. Okay. Okay. Well, it's uh, it's yeah. eight. Are they <laughs> people? People counting down in ten seconds, waiting for hit. Yes, Jock. <laughs> we're, okay. We're waiting for it's, hit too. it is live. Is it it's actually live? live? Yes, so it is live. Uh, it is live. Well, that's not very helpful. <laughs> no, 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 not. Well, oh, Lead your right. tribe to victory oh, okay. over a chronicle of battles against savage it's opponents. Just the bold words on side. Amazingly wow. detailed and brutal miniatures oh, await you. you. Oh. Well, right, you guys, you, where are you? I'm going to look down with the same page with you. Um right now can we be the first backers go, go for it <laughs> go look at that look at that he hate let's share a link in the chat here so everyone can get this um so hate is now live the link has just gone into chat on twitch um and i'll share it quickly on facebook if i can so, so everyone... you need to wait a little time oh. before you can see the result before we flood the page yeah. oh, okay we now yeah, it's coming in now yes it's yeah. coming now seven thousand dollars I'm sure it will. Oh, we missed the we missed the first backing. Is that we what you're saying? We missed it. Yeah. No, no. Well, <laughs> we're, not had, yeah. we're not the we're not the first to the post. No. We look didn't. at that! Look at that logo at the very top. Just hit with like thirty skulls, just covered. Twenty four thousand dollars. Now it's yeah, getting it's there. <laughs> so let's see. Oh my goodness! I'm just looking down. We're all going to just look at this together for hey, a second. I'm going to I'm going to have a thirty four thousand dollars. It's a of it's raising. <laughs> And let's, I'm going straight to the. I'm going straight to the, the pledge. Forty thousand dollars. You see, it's it's getting. Well, actually, do you know what? There you go. And um, they do actually have Michael Chanel and Eric. They have a hate game gameplay video sitting there. Nice. So well, you can watch it. We'll leave you soon to go watch that. Yes. Absolutely <laughs> yes. So they have the tyrant. Yeah, they have the tyrant pledge. Fifty-three thousand. Do you know what I like to see? So going off, not going off topic, but going a little away from the game for a second. Is there's just one pledge? Yeah. So okay, okay, they're doing Kickstarter exclusive. Um, it's not going to go to retail, but you don't need to worry about 
backing it or going to retail later and not getting the same thing. If you want yeah, it, the time get on board. Nice. Um, you're going to get all the stretch goals, and I think there's going to be lots for this. Mm -mm -mm. And they just call it the Tyrant Pledge. I'm looking at the page, yeah. I'm looking at the mercenary figures. How, did you get seven? Did, did we get that? Did we get? How many mercenaries? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yes. Yeah, you're exactly Nailed right. It. And she is indeed. So the, the little chain lady is absolutely uh, a mercenary. The guy with the skirt of skulls is absolutely terrifying. And it's showing, yeah, all the card stuff. So yeah, pretty much everything we've covered. I'm just seeing if there's anything else that we haven't spoken about yet. But I think we've covered most of the stuff on the page. There's a mature 18 reeling. So yeah, yes. any further questions for us guys? We're probably gonna look to wrap up. Yeah, it, it's flying, done. 21% funded, your backer 211, backer 124. Mm. <laughs> the, ch the chat are racing the battle. $77,000. So yes, uh, it funds at 200,000, it will yeah, fund very yeah. soon. So we don't have to wait long no, for that. No, to no and sell so some stretch goals. Yeah, 81,000, yeah. well, it's going to fund. <laughs> Are you sure, Leo? Are you sure it's going to fund? Yeah, I think I've so. got a good feeling about it. Over 50% already. <laughs> can we? Oh, I kind of want to play now. Well, let's get off we camera can and have a game. Turn, turn okay. the cameras yeah. off and, and play yes. a game? Yeah, let's I don't try know. that. Uh -huh. Okay, all right. Well, look, thank you so much, everyone, for watching. This was a little bit different. Um, if you're on Beast of War or on the Beast of War Facebook, I'd love to know um, if you enjoyed us having Leo along, having Ben along to, to, to chat about something that's so fast. Yes, not a corpse. That is incredibly fast that that's funding. I think we can agree. <laughs> that is ridiculous. Normally, you see funded in 24 hours yeah, or funded yeah, yeah. in an hour. I don't know if I've seen funded in three minutes. <laughs> um, are you really that confident to deliver six months after Kickstarter ends? Simon's delivered Kickstarters pretty yeah, routinely. Yeah. Um, yeah. So we said, I got They've done back over April 20 Kickstarters. So yeah. Yeah. Um, obviously, this is this is Simon and Gia team working together. So just, just keep that in mind. Mm -hmm. um, this was fun. Yeah, 95, thanks, Aurora. 95,000. So okay. they're halfway, yeah, halfway there. Great. Absolutely crazy. Well, look, thank you so much. Thank you guys so much for, for bringing this in. It's thank been a real pleasure to sit and have. Uh, I want to pretend this is uh, tea, but it's actually water because I'm parched. <laughs> <laughs> So we will get off of here, guys. We will let you go and have a look at the Kickstarter page. Um, on Beast of War, let us know what you think. Um, obviously, we have you guys filming the rest of this week, so you guys yep. better get to Yeah, we'll see you guys again. Let those vocal cords yes, uh, run. Absolutely, so yes. the, the Joan of Arc plays manager will be coming soon as well. So <laughs> there's too on much the good 22nd. stuff. On Monday, January 22nd, Game on Tabletop is the website. Game on Tabletop. Yes. yes. Ah. yes is that That's it? the name of the website, Game on Tabletop. Nice. Nice. Yeah. Okay. Have a good evening, everyone, or a good day, wherever you are in the world. It's been a real pleasure, and we will uh, see you soon. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm taking this. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know.